Two experts are going to share with us the importance of water in the cancer equation, and we're also going to learn about electricity and frequencies as they relate to cancer. Why is it that some protocols have a lot more success than other protocols? Why is it that some protocols that are extremely successful, you've never heard of? I work with um, Dr. Igor Smirnov. Dr. Igor Smirnov, in 1986, when Chernobyl blew up, was one of the teams of scientists that came in to determine not why are there three million cases of cancer in this area, why these people didn't have it. And, and you never heard of that. Igor Smirnov went down and found there was this group of people that didn't have cancer. And they didn't seek the reason to help the others, they wanted to know why these people didn't. And they found it was related to the water. It gets really interesting here for everybody. The fact of the matter is, the mechanism was, if you can superhydrate a cell, i.e. if you can get enough water into the cell so it functions optimally, it can basically take on almost anything. So what was happening was the structure of this water was changing by coming over the Caucasus Mountains and coming instead of being isotetrahedral or pyramidal, it was coming in a linear format. That in itself doesn't mean much, but it can access something called aquaporins, go into every cell, carry nutrition into every cell, bring toxins out of every cell, but still that doesn't matter. It's allowing the cell, allowing the physiological function to be increased once again, not a cure, just enabling the body to do that. No one ever heard of it, called molecular resonance effect technology. You didn't hear that. And, that. and that's what he determined that the people that had lived, that had not gotten cancer, they were drinking more of this water? They were just drinking this water. This water was allowing them to hydrate, right? And they gave a Nobel Prize to, uh, to Dr. Peter Agri in 2003 for discovering aquaporins. When he found the water, he didn't know the reason. We kind of figured out after, there's these openings that are one water molecule wide. In every cell, we knew that if you hydrated a cell properly, for example, viruses in a dehydrated cell can multiply easily. In a hydrated cell, cannot. So that lends itself to understanding that if you give the body what it needs to function optimally, we can defeat it with following compliant, compliant protocols. Not chemo trying to kill everything, although sometimes it works. Not radiation trying to kill everything, but of course we know if you radiate something, doesn't it cause a tumor? Oh, I'm being silly. <laughs> but the reality of that is, we know that we just have to enable the body. Mm. I think that uh, Dr. Smirnoff's technologies are something everyone should use. Is it a cure? No. Does it help your body? Absolutely. That's really fascinating. Dr. Igor Smirnov was on a Russian team that studied why some people after Chernobyl didn't get cancer. And it turned out it was because of the specific kind of water that they were drinking. After the interview with Dr. Fisher, I had him call Dr. Smirnov to see if he could set up an interview with us, and he did. And we traveled to California to interview him about his technological advices that he has invented, and specifically what he calls MRET water. I was involved in this in 1980s in research related to the effect of um, uh, radiation uh, on human subjects after the 1986 Chernobyl fallout. And uh, by chance they found that in some areas, uh, uh, the group of uh, people suffering from radiation, they were placed in different you know, resorts. And in some areas, their rehabilitation was much better compared with the other groups. And by accident, they found it was because of the spring mineral water. So we got samples, we, we did some study within a couple years. We actually found that it's not because of the, uh, you know, the mineral content of the water, but because of the unique molecular structure of water. And then it took me probably another 10 years to develop a technology how to recreate the same type of water in your kitchen. So basically, it's a um, unique equipment, uh, and it's actually treat water with extremely low intensity, low frequency electromagnetic oscillation, uh, which is kind of like 
uh, resemble the Earth's magnetic field intensity. And uh, we did a lot of research in regards to how this water can affect human physiology, and we found it has a very profound effect. So there was a lot of studies uh, done in, uh, you know, in, uh, in Europe, in the United States, and uh, in Russia in regards to how this activated water, MRET activated water, can affect human what, what does what does MRET stand for? Uh, it stands for Molecular Resonance Effect Technology. Two American scientists, they got a Nobel Prize for discovery of so-called aquaparine channels. The main reason for proper hydration of cells is aquaparine channels. And what they found that actually the water molecules go inside the, these channels one by one with the speed of several billions per second. This is how it works. So in other words, it's very important for the human body uh, when you drink water to reorganize water in so-called single linear structure. In this case, it can easily go inside the cells. Uh, if the water uh, has different type of structure, then it requires a lot of energy for the body, for the human body, to uh, create the proper structure, so-called intracellular structure of the water. So uh, after doing research for MRT water, we found that the structure of this water quite closely resembles to the structure of the intracellular water. For this reason, when we run so-called bioimpedance testing for water, we found that the, after MRT treatment, water goes inside the cells three times faster compared with regular water. So it's obviously improved hydration of the body, and we know that hydration of the body is uh, very important because uh, uh, per 10,000 molecules of water in the human body there is only one molecule of the protein so uh, the hydration of the body is number one mechanism which support the whole homeostasis in the body we conducted a lot of research in uh, in regards how this water can affect for example different form of cancer this research was conducted at the University of uh, Kiev University State University in Ukraine in collaboration with Oncology Center and they use mice it was done in vivo they use 500 mice which means it's very good statistics and uh, what they found that if uh, uh, you just uh, treat mice with regular MRT water their inhibition of the tumor growth is about uh, 60 to 50 percent compare with control groups. And uh, the lifespan of the mice in the group which was treated with the MRT water was about 70% higher. 70% longer? Longer, yeah. Okay. So they live longer. Uh, we did a lot of uh, so-called in, uh, in vitro tests on cancer cells with this water. Uh, for example, in Althea DX, uh, it's a biotech, San Diego-based biotech company. And they just uh, uh, treated the uh, cell media with MRT equipment because cell media is about 90% water. And then uh, they, uh, you know, uh, place the cancer cells, HeLa cancer cells, and regular human cells in this, street, in this uh, media. And obviously there was a control cells group. So what they found, number one, that on the regular cells, human cells, there is no effect of MRT water. So it's completely, you know, uh, safe. No effect. It doesn't uh, inhibit. It doesn't enhance growth of the cells. It's just normal. But on the hella cancer cells, the inhibition was 52 percent. Wow. 52 percent. Not only does Dr. Smirnov's special type of water, the MRET water, better hydrate the cells. And while we were there in his yard, one of the things that I noticed was these huge limes growing on a tree in his yard. Right over there behind you is a lemon tree, or lime tree actually. Yes, right. And, so, and I, I noticed over there before we started the interview that these limes are bigger than any lime I've ever seen in my life. And you're telling me that you're feeding the tree MRET water. That's right, yeah. You know, we are doing this, you know, private experiment with my wife. <laughs> really great information from Dr. Smirnov.